fire safety in your home. Just gonna move the camera. Okay, there we go. And you realize that you know you don't have a smoke detector, or you realize that you don't have enough smoke detectors. Um, you can always you can always call the your local fire department. They'll be happy to come and set up some smoke detectors in your home uh, for you. Let's say, you know, you know the one in there is old. Uh, this is your own home. You own it, uh, and it's old. You don't know what's going on with that smoke detector. You can always call the local fire department and ask them for help. So they'll come in. They'll schedule something with you. They'll come in and check the fire uh, safety alarm or the smoke detector. They'll take it down and replace it if it needs replacing. Sometimes people just leave the smoke detector there for years and never check it, and the batteries spill over and it's just ruined. So uh, sometimes that can happen. If you are renting, the landlord is absolutely uh, responsible for putting in sufficient uh, smoke detectors in your home and your apartment. So um, always call them if you are concerned about the age of the smoke detector or the batteries haven't been changed in a while. So you, you can say, you know, this is fire safety month and, and we're working on making sure that, you know, my space is safe. Um, is that you can check and make sure that you have a free space to get out. So make sure that your furniture and your tables and everything else, that there's nothing blocking you from getting out the back door, getting out the front door. So that's another thing you need to look for. Um, you know, we talked about bedrooms and where you would situate your wheelchair already. Uh, but I just wanted to give a tip. You know, the fire department is, is more than happy to help you with your smoke detectors especially for those who are deaf and might use a wheelchair but are also deaf, same thing. You can talk to your local fire, fire department and they can install some special uh, smoke detectors for you that flash or that might be connected to a vibrating system. So talk to them and they'll be happy to assist you. And again, for any family, make sure that you have a free path to get out, either front door, side door, back door, because you need to run away from the fire, not towards the fire, or trying to get around the fire, <laughs> because you might end up, you know, being trapped. So um, those are the tips that I wanted to throw out there. Um, also, be willing and able to get through a window um, you know, if you're in a wheelchair and you're quadriplegic, you probably are not able to get through the window. But know that that might be a possibility. So either somebody helps you through the window or um, if, if you have good hands that function, you know, for you to be able to get through a window uh, if you can't use any doors. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, remember not to run back into the fire because you forgot something. Uh, it, you know, any material things, medications, uh, all of that can be replaced. So I just wanted to put that tip out there that the fire, your local fire department is more than happy to help you. Doesn't matter if it's October or not. So uh, think about it. Check things. Make sure you have uh, working and safe smoke detectors. All right, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.